Hey there Aquarius. Hope you guys this week has been good to you guys. Appreciate you guys so much. I did switch out some of my oracle cards to see if we get some different messages for you guys. So let's see what you guys get today. This is going to be from my beautiful sign of Aquarius. This is for Aquarius, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus. Aquarius, babes. Tell about Aquarius, please. What do they need to know? Aquarius. Okay, we got some divine timing at play. Two more. Aquarius. We've got traveling here. One more. Got a secret crush here. All right. And we've got some addictions here. And then we've got a marriage. Some kind of commitment. I definitely see a new person. Definitely sees you as like marriage material. You definitely got somebody crushing on you. What's overall energy for Aquarius? What's overall energy? Overall energy, please. Thank you. Acceptance. Learning to accept people and situations that you cannot change, but you can change things up for yourself by removing yourself and no longer dealing with those connections. Somebody doesn't like somebody doesn't want to accept that some kind of connection is over with. Somebody doesn't want to accept that you have like shed an old version of yourself and you're no longer the same person that you used to be. You are a limitless being and you manifest whatever you desire in physical reality here. So that's divine timing is definitely lining you up with abundance, prosperity, love here. Beautiful. Aquarius, be that hero. So this is about you being that hero for yourself. A lot of you guys have a new person. Like this new person is like very, this person like wants to come up and show up for you. Like this new person could like work in some kind of like, it could be like government, like it could be nurses, doctors. You could you could even be in this field as yourself, like just working in like as a humanitarian, like helping others. But there's definitely like a very protective energy wanting to show up for you because somebody's definitely crushing on you. This is like a very heroic energy. It's like you showed up and was a hero for yourself and you're attracting that towards you as well. This is also about you being the hero with your your um, your um career path. Just you being a better you. Like you have this very heroic energy to you at this time and you are attracting that type of energy towards you as well. And this is your stage. This is about you creating this dream life for yourself. So this is about just... Being at flow with the life and just creating this beautiful life here. So it's it's like you definitely got some eyes watching you at this time. Watching you create this beautiful life for yourself. You understand that this is your life and you can create the life that you want. And you definitely are on the same... Um, you're definitely vibing with the universe right now. You're manifesting and everything is working out in your favor here. Aquarius. Nutrition. So your body is a temple. This is about you making wiser choices here. So making better food choices, um, things about your mental health as well. And if you had some kind of like addictions, it doesn't have to be alcohol or drugs. But if you dealt with some kind of addictions like I have, this is about you shedding that old way too. Like no longer operating with addiction. So you're all about like self-improvement, treating your body as a temple and your mental health too. Tell me more. Tell me. Let me get another one. All right, we'll take them all. You guys got a bunch here. So you got your tolerance, cooperate. You compromise when it's for the greater good. Like that's that humanitarian energy. Like, and I feel like that's what you're attracting towards you. The past is mad that you're no longer tolerating the bullcrap. And this is about no longer tolerating anybody's bullcrap for that part. Like anybody that tries to lower you down, release them. And then we've got spirituality. I am committed to my spiritual growth, raising your consciousness. You're a beacon of light to this world. So that's that very humanitarian energy that you have. Like you're raising your vibration. You're a, a beacon of light. We need more people like you. Thank you for being you. And you are kind and loving and you attract more love into your life. So this is about attracting better love connections, better friendship groups, loving uh, family units here. Just you're attracting so much love towards you. You know your worth. You embrace your, indivi you embrace your individuality and honor your worth. So this is about you loving yourself, knowing your worth and not letting anybody dictate um, how people look at you. This is about knowing that you're... I love me. I'm confident and secure with who I am, and I'm not going to let anybody try to dictate that. And then we've got your sexual energy here. This is about honoring your body, not transferring energy with just anybody. 
So there's something here about you tapping into your sacred energy. So there's something about your sexual energy that you need to be aware of. Like when you sleep with people, like you have this very addicted energy when it comes to like your sexual energy. So just make sure that you're just not transferring that with just anybody here. And then there's that good fortune. I am grateful for all the good fortune that I have and more blessings flow into my life. And that's what you're attracting. This good fortune, this abundance, abundance of love, abundance of fortune. And then this is grounding energy. I am solely grounded no matter what is happening around me. You remain stable and secure. So, you know, things will test us. That's life. But this is about you staying in this grounded, steadfast energy and not budging off of your path here. And then that inspiration. You're an inspiration. I love to express myself artistically, opening to creative inspiration and letting it flow through you. So you're all about just being an inspiration. Like you're showing up for yourself and it's like you're you're showing people the way here. That's a beautiful thing here. Something about you expressing yourself artistically as well here. And then that visualization, some of you guys can have a vision board or you might want to do that for yourself. I am the creator of my reality. I use my imagination to visualize what I want in my life and then it can be realized. And that's what you're doing. You are manifesting your dream life at this time. That's beautiful. Let me get one for Aquarius. Aquarius, thank you. Believing is seeing. So this is about you believing that great things can happen for you. And you definitely got some energies new and past, they can't believe what they're seeing. So it's almost like you're in this energy where like, I'm not going to sit there and talk about it. I'm just going to show up for myself. And then people are going to just see me winning. Like this is your winning era here. A lot of you guys can't believe the things that you're able to manifest towards you as well, because your energy is very attracting right now. Where there's a will, there's a way. So that's that determined energy. This is about you going down this path. That goal sticks out to me. So your finances up and running beautifully here. So you are making a path for your, yourself. Like you're very steadfast, very strong. You ain't gonna let nobody tell you different. You're going for it. Like you're, man, this beautiful energy that you have. Talking about divine timing. So this is about trusting things to happen when they're meant to. Sometimes things don't happen right when we want them to. And that's because it's, there's just, there's a reason for that. So don't ever give up on yourself just because things may slow down or not turn out right when you want them. There's a reason for that. Turn out divine timing. King of Wands. There's something about you going after what you want, being in this leadership energy here. Something about your passionate endeavors. And there's definitely a very passionate um that's that heroic energy so so there's something about love wanting to make its way towards you like when it some of you guys would have thought that things were going to develop sooner in a love department and it's a reason that it didn't because there's something better coming or it, if it was somebody new you were talking to it just wasn't meant to be at this time so you know when we have falling outs with new connections that that person could have been like your past person that's why it didn't work out so there's something about you just trusting in this path of this leadership that you've been taking and like your career path and just this creative energy I'm picking up on, like trusting and knowing that things are going to work out when they're meant to. And this is about you doing everything that you can to achieve things for yourself. You can, you can't just sit there and tell the universe, I want this and not do anything for it. You have to work with the universe. You have to show the universe that you're making moves to get to where you want. And that's where the magic happens. Tell me more about divine timing. Tell me more about divine timing, please the world cycles wanting to open up some of you guys could be wanting to travel just travel and see the world here but there's something here about allowing these cycles to play out right, right when they're meant to and this is about letting those past cycles close out so we don't repeat them anymore because if we stay stuck in a past um, cycle it'll keep us stuck there so we, we can't make room for new if we're staying stuck with the past justice these scales are balancing back in your life balance is being restored this is about everything going into your favor. Just trust that process here. And that victory, man. This is about celebrating yourself. Victory. This is about getting yourself around the, the right people that, you know, try to lift you up, not tear you down. So you've got a lot of victory coming towards you. Like that divine timing is really playing out for you. And this is about being patient, making those balances, nurturing yourself, evolving, tapping into that higher consciousness, your magic abilities, your manifestation abilities. Some of you guys are earth angels, light workers. You are, you're here on a mission to be that beacon of light. So you got to really be, you know, practicing that patience because that is a thing. 
And there's these offers wanting to come towards you. Financial offers, you could be changing up careers or creating new streams of income. And there's definitely a, a high vibing offer that wants to come towards you. It's a very solid, stable offer. And this is after this rebirth energy. So a lot of you guys had to shed old thinking patterns, just get rid of connections that were no longer serving you. And this is about just rising up that phoenix from the ashes here just beautiful energy so there could have been things around you that needed to be ended that way new things could come towards you and that's also a reason why things don't work out when we want them to because there's either people around us that are not for us or we still got some more growing to do so just make sure that you're just trusting yourself good towers coming in this is about Letting these faulty foundations of any connection that you've dealt with, letting it crumble down. And this is you rebuilding yourself back up and just knowing that you're going to create this solid foundation in all areas of your life. So you got some good tower moments wanting to make its way towards you. Tell me about travel. Embrace those changes too. Like when we want those changes, they'll come, but we've got to embrace them and accept them. Tell me about travel. Somebody didn't expect for you to put boundaries up with them. Some of you guys definitely want to travel, see the world, or you, you're planning on traveling. Tell me about travel. Some of you could have something new that's at a distance that's getting ready to travel towards you as well. Tell me about travel. Somebody's got a really pretty arm tattoo. Like, it's a pretty big piece. It looks like it's got flowers in it. Somebody's got a snake tattoo on their wrist, like their forearm up here. Travel. Ten of swords. So somebody knows something's done. So somebody didn't expect for you to push these boundaries up with them and just be done and over with. So somebody's like grieving the loss of you, but you know, they didn't treat you right when they had you. So this person was part of your growth and you've learned everything from that. That's you're making room for new things. That's why we don't entertain past. And this is about going towards this, these new beginnings, taking that risk, doing things to, to get those closer to your goals. And you definitely got some new energy wanting to make its way towards you. This is like a traveling energy wanting to, to come towards you. Love, finances, all areas here. And you definitely got somebody here that's like really been like studying you. There is an energy of your wise energy. There's something here about you really pulling back and seeing things for what it is. Somebody doesn't like how you're hermiting from them now. There's something here about you're just very knowledgeable here. Like you've definitely been on this, this quest for just a better you and boy is it showing and this is about keeping your boundaries up this is about putting your foot down going after what you want and not letting anybody run over your boundaries so there's definitely an energy here of, of creating strong boundaries with any type of past connection that's tried to stop you from your journey here and then you got somebody here panicking somebody's stressed and worrying because they didn't expect for you to 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 move away from them to be better at that, and they didn't expect for you to create boundaries. So you definitely got somebody worrying right now about you. So there's something here about you really being more emotionally aware, something about your emotions reserved, something here about not letting emotions lead you, not letting anybody manipulate you anymore. And you've really been like researching some things here. So there's definitely some beautiful things wanting to make its way towards you. So just a lot of healthy energy wanting to travel towards you and this is about embracing this journey if you see this card see how she falls into a hole you, you might get knocked down and you get back up and you keep climbing towards your goals here so like i said earlier sometimes things don't happen as quick as we want them to but just know that you are making making a, a lot of milestones in your life so just make sure you're patting yourself on your back so someone's mad that they can't keep you stuck Someone can't shame you. Someone cannot make you feel bad anymore. That's good. You Don't let anybody make you feel that way. This is about just embracing this journey and moving towards your goals here. Tell me about secret crush. So you definitely got some admirers here. So you give people butterflies. Tell me about secret crush. Tell me about secret crush. Thank you. Four of Wands. So this is somebody that looks at you as marriage material, man. Man, this person sees you building a foundation for yourself. This person knows that you are very stable and structured. Somebody looks at you as marriage material. So there's something here about this, like, this new person that I'm picking up on. Like, they know that you're a fighter. This person sees that you've been knocked down and you get back up and you keep showing up for yourself. Like, it's it, they admire you for that. So you may be a bit intimidating at the same time, though, because the way that your energy is radiating, like it makes it's a little intimidating, Aquarius. I'm just saying. So 
And when we have new energy wanting to come towards us, we got to be able to let those walls down and accept that new love. But you definitely got people looking up to you because they see how strong and resilient you are. You're definitely an inspiration. And you definitely got somebody looking at you with loving eyes. Ace of Pentacles, that's a solid offer wanting to come towards you. Somebody sees that you're well put together, that you're just, man, you're just very confident and just somebody looks at you as everything. Somebody wants to take their mask off. Somebody's been holding back from you and somebody wants to, somebody's tired of holding back and they're not wearing a mask in a bad way. It's just that they, they crushing on you and they don't know how to approach you. So this person's ready to come towards you. They don't want to hold back anymore. There's that emperor showing up. Man, this is like a boss daddy energy. So this is a very structured person that's got their life together that sees you doing the same thing. That's that heroic energy wanting to come towards you. So this person's like, they could be older than you, but this is somebody that could be a business owner or just high up in their career field. But this is somebody that definitely looks at you as everything. Like this is like a, a very, like this person's very, like a very high vibrating masculine energy that's wanting to come towards you. Somebody's worried that you're going to walk away from them though. So you're intimidating. Somebody, you got a past person that wants to, that wants nothing more than you to walk away from this high vibing lover. Don't let them do that to you. So you definitely got a new person that is wanting to come towards you, but they are so worried. They don't want to, to like lose a catch like you. So that's why this person hasn't showed themselves yet, but boy, do they want to. Tell me about addictions. So you guys could have suffered from addictions. You got a past energy here that's still suffering from addictions. Tell me about addictions. You make people addicted to you too truth the clarity and the truth this is about you having an honest talk with yourself and shedding away anything that lowers your vibration somebody's mad because you you're you see that like you know the truth about them and they, they don't like that you can see through them there's something about your past person that makes it seem like they they got their life put together but that's not the case and you can see through them but tell me more the devil in reverse, I'm telling you, this is you letting go of any low vibing energy, anything that you were addicted to. This is about releasing all of that. So this devil energy is mad at you that you, the devil's mad at you, but that's good. We want the devil to be mad at us because he can't have us. We're lights. We're here to shine our light. You cannot darken us. And that's beautiful. So man, this is getting rid of all that toxicity. Good for you. So you got somebody here that's stressing and worrying. Some of you guys could have been like, in a mindset where you just worried constantly about everything and you've been letting that go, that's good. So you got somebody that's still stuck in their addictions and they're not happy. And this is someone that clearly sees that you've been breaking these chains. Like you've been breaking, breaking anything that's meant to hinder your growth. You're very strong. So your past person's got a habit of want to go towards something else and then they try to come back towards you. And this is about no longer, this is about embracing your self-love journey and not Depending on anyone else to make you happy, this is about loving self and then let, attracting that love towards you. So you've understood your assignment here. Your past person tries to go leave you behind because they don't know how to be alone like you do. And now they're panicking. Like this person's got like a an addictive mindset. They, they are so worried about something new showing up for you. But this is someone that knocked your cup over and you've healed. Look at you. You've made some tremendous healing here. Beautiful. This is about you nurturing yourself, growing, evolving, tapping into those manifestation abilities. And like I said, shedding any type of dark darkness that was trying to hinder your growth. Beautiful, beautiful, beautiful. No longer being at a, stuck at a crossroads when it comes to these addictions, whatever that may be. This is about going down that right path. That's that path of enlightenment that you've been on. So you definitely got this past person trying to come towards you and getting you to receive their love again. There's something about... Um, the past energy, somebody's a drinker. This is about pouring into yourself and not needing any of these like addictive things to, to hinder your growth. Ten of Cups. So some of you guys could have been at, like your family units. You guys could have like grown up in environments where your parents or your siblings may have suffered from addictions. And this is about like breaking that curse off of your bloodline. This is about changing everything up for you. Beautiful. You've been healing your heart chakra. You've really been growing and evolving. So something here about you also not telling yourself that you don't deserve love. You've been shifting that mindset and you are attracting that beautiful love towards you. That's amazing. Tell me about wedding. So this, first off, this new person looks at you as marriage material. Some of you guys could have had a marriage with your past person or this past person wants to tell you that they want marriage now. Tell me about wedding. 
Six of Cups. This is like a past life connection I'm picking up on. Somebody looked at you as like, they want children with you. Like, it's like a very childlike energy that just views you as a marriage material, man. So, yeah, this person is like, really, you make this person like childlike. It's a very high school crush that I'm picking up with this new person. Tell me more. I like this for you guys. Tell me more. Tell me more about wedding. Okay. Now you got a past person here that is so, oh, this person's so worried about you meeting this healthy connection here. Like, they don't want this for you, but oh, well, they, 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 it's not their life to dictate. So this past person is going to try to make you feel bad because you're opening up for better love. So this is somebody here that some of you guys were married to a past person. And this person like really tried to tear you down and you've leveled up since that. And you definitely got this person wanting to come towards you that looks at you as marriage material. And then you've got this past person that's been spying, worried about your love life. And you definitely got a new person here that's observing you too, like you, people crushing. Some of you guys may have more than one person crushing on you, especially if you're posting things in the spotlight. Oh, you got some crushes here, sir, ma'am. So your past person's all up in your business trying to see what you got going on here. So, man, you definitely got a past energy that's really being nosy when it comes to you. This is about shifting your perspective when it comes to um, healthier connections, realizing that you deserve better. And this is clearly breaking out of a past connection that was treating you bad, whether there was a marriage or no marriage involved. So, and I'm telling you, there's something here about a new person that's really been observing you and see how that that's calling out to me. So this new person is ready to like, they, they're ready to come towards you. Like they're ready to like break free and come towards you. Better choices in love. Your past person tried to leave you behind for someone else, make it seem like you were the problem. That's not the case. So better connections with love. This is like a soulmate union coming in for you. This is about trusting your intuition, making sure that the love, the new love coming towards you is who they said they were. And this is clearly about lies and deception that was taking place during your past connection. And you've got a new person that's wanting to speak on how they feel towards you. Like this person is like, They've been holding a torch for you, and they're ready to express how they feel. I've got Pisces, Fire, Fixed Energy, Aquarius, Scorpio, Leo, Taurus, Libra, Water, Air, Aries, Virgo, Fire, 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 Air, Capricorn, Air, Water, Aquarius, Water, Water, Cancer, and Air here. So someone views you as marriage material here. This is at a crossroads. This is about making the right choices and going down that right path and not letting anybody keep you stuck at a crossroads. And there's that soulmate energy I was picking up on. So you have some kind of soul contract with a new person that's wanting to come towards you. And this is after releasing this toxic relationship, healing through this toxic relationship. Healing is so important because if we don't heal, we'll carry baggage into the new relationship. And also, if you're like me... If, a new, if I didn't heal and I had a healthy person come towards me, I'd run from it because I would be scared of it because toxic is all I've known. So that's why healing is so important. Some of you guys definitely dealt with divorces. Some of you guys could have some kind of court cases that you're still going through. Um, these scales are going in your favor. Balance is being restored. And there's you getting these dates. Some of you guys have more than one person interested in you, but you have these dates already to come towards you. Not everybody that you go on a date with, if you're entertaining more than one option that's interested, not everybody's going to be for your highest good. So you got to use your discernment on that. Aquarius. Some of you guys could be going on vacation. Somebody's definitely traveling. Some of you guys are going to be traveling with a new person. Like this new person is like well established. So your past person used to fill your head with nonsense and tell you all these things that they would do, but they never did anything. So some of you guys may be taking your own self on vacation. Tell me more. We've got a runner. This is someone that runs from you. This past person tried to run from you and they just, they didn't realize that you were the one that was ultimately going to get away from them. And there's a new person that is tired of running from their feelings from you. I keep getting this new energy. Tell me more. So an understanding. So the past is trying to compromise with you now. So this past person is really trying to figure out how to lower your boundaries. Tell me more. Past hates nothing about you. You are marriage material. Uh-huh. That's why you got somebody new looking at you in this light. Tell me more. Player. So this past person's a player. So just make sure for the ones that are opening up for like new people, don't fall into the arms of another player because you will repeat that cycle with somebody new. I've been there, done that. Tell me more. And you're leveling up. 
leveling up, making money, financially stable. Some of you guys are going down new career paths here, but you're on the come up here. That's beautiful. And part of your guys' come up is just to meet this well-established person. Tell me more. And this past person is going to just have to sit here and be heartbroken. Because this person didn't treat you right when they had you. So you've outgrown this person. So don't let them guilt trip you. Tell me more. They're going to be that much more heartbroken when this crush comes through. So this past person purposely did things to ignore you. They like, they're like they a very trickster energy. This is someone that just manipulates and fake pretends. So this past person could be arguing with someone else right now. And they, they're, they purposely gave you silent treatment to try to gain control over you. So... This person didn't expect for you to ignore them. And, like, I feel like for somebody's past person, like, they're not doing good with someone else. And they're trying to come in towards you with this trickster energy. Tell me more. I'm telling you, you got somebody here that looks at you as special. Somebody wants, sees the end-all, be-all with you. You're so special. Like, man, that's that her heroic energy I'm picking up on. And there's addictions again. So the past is still operating in addictions, and you've shedded this. So that's beautiful. And some of you guys may have to go on more than one date to get to your person that you're meant to be with. Your past person's all over the place. Like, they they commit, they date. They're, this is the type of person that would be dating people even with you or in a solid commitment here. So, what's that saying? You got to kiss a couple frogs to get to your prince, your princess. So, you know, embrace those dates. You'll find your right person. And someone's rejected. It was all fun and games when your past person was trying to replace you with other people and make you feel small and you took that time and you invested into self that's why you're ready to get back out there and this past person wanted you to feel rejected now this past person's feeling rejected because they know their time's up something about the way that you dress you, you dress very sharp and you got a new person coming towards you that dresses very they're very put together your past person tries to make it seem like they have more than what they have and then new energies for the ones that are opening up for new more than one option that's interested Make sure that you're not falling into another facade of a new person. It's that secret. So this past person's got a lot of secrets. They're very deceitful. This past person didn't want you to find certain things out. And some of you guys, there's still things that you don't know about this past person. Somebody's got some trust issues. So when we've been hurt, we have to learn to lower our guard and let that new love in. That's why healing is so important. And you obviously can't trust the past person. Somebody to show off. That's this past energy that likes to, like they, they're just, they fake flex. They don't have what they mean that they have. And some of you guys are like, there's like, there's new and past. Like just make sure people are who they say they are. And you are the gift. Your past person knows you are the gift. Your past person wants to try to create a wedge with this new person wanting to show up for you. So, and you're clearly about to be gifted some things with a new person because you've got somebody crushing on you big time here. So don't let this past person try to create a wedge for you. Remaining unbothered, no matter what the past was doing, that's beautiful. And that says next. So you're ready for new. And this past person is trying to come back. They feel like there's some unfinished business. Now they want to come back and tell you they love you. And the reason they're doing that is because you have good things taking place in your life. So, and there's something about a, a new person wanting to express how they feel. That's part of your good news as well. Like you're in this happy-go-lucky energy. You're ready to go open these new doors. So ready to experience new things in all areas of your life here. Beautiful. Aquarius. Somebody's got some bad credit. Some of you guys may have had some bad credit. Um, if you were married to the past or you lived with them, there's something about your finances on the come up while your past person is not doing well. And just anybody that comes towards you, new or past, make sure people got their stuff together. So no longer going round and round with the past because you've learned everything that you need to with the past. So this is why it's so important to leave the past where it is in the past so you don't stay stuck. Because that's why that divine timing will slow down. Because if we entertain past things, we'll stay stuck in that. So tell me more. Somebody trying to do a love spell on you. This crush may think that you put some kind of spell on them, but it's just your energy in general here. So there's something about just just you, like your your energy is everything. And you definitely put people under love spells here, and you're not even trying to do that. Now, for some of you, I feel like your past person's trying to do some kind of love spell to, to get you to come back. It ain't going to work, though. Tell me more. You're living in the moment, chilling, minding your business, just loving life. Beautiful. Continue doing that. 
past person wanted you to feel rejected, but you're not. You're doing this. You're living in the moment. You're raising up on in your life. Everything is going in your favor. So the past is just going to have to feel rejected. Tell me more. Yeah, they ain't happy about it either. Oh, well. This is someone that didn't want you to be happy. So this past person's mad that you're happy and flourishing. And when this new person shows up, they're going to be that much more angry. Somebody's shady. This is like a shady past person that wore a mask. And they're still trying to tiptoe in your in your energy here, back into your life. And just make sure that you're not a, that a new energy is not wearing a mask as well. I keep wanting to say that. But you definitely got somebody new who's crushing on you big time. The past wants you back. They miss you. Past has got some kind of sex addictions. So, and if you guys suffer from any kind of sexual addictions, that's what you've been getting rid of as well. Your past is still operating in these addictions. Trap. This is about no longer staying stuck in these traps of anything that tries to keep you stuck from hindering your growth. You have climbed out of every trap that has been trying to keep you stuck. That's beautiful. So here comes this ex trying to sweet talk you into a trap. And don't let something new try to sweet talk you into a trap as well. That's part of our lessons to learn. So if someone thought they was going to run away from you and that you would have been always there trying to fix it or been right behind them and that's not the case. You're running away. And a lot of you guys are running towards your counterpart who you're supposed to be with. And this past person's a backstabber. Very deceptive. They play mind games. They love bomb. So no longer letting this backstabber into your life. Anybody that tries to backstab you, don't let them back into your life. We've got a Jezebel spirit here. So your past person's a Jezebel spirit. That's like control, anger, using that lustful energy and just manipulating like the past person could have painted you out as a Jezebel spirit. So and just make sure that you don't fall into another arms of a Jezebel spirit. This past person likes to no strings attached. Like they'll, they'll try to downplay what they've done to you. Oh, it was just sex. I didn't love them, but they cheated on you. So if you're like me, like if you cheat on me, I'll never look at you the same ever. It's done. Like my passion, it's out the window. So these feelings, this past person tries to pull on your feelings. like, And something here about for the ones that are opening up for like where there's more than one person interested in you, don't let these smooth talkers come in here and try to use these motions to love bomb you and then they sleep with you and then they, they get what they want and they leave. So don't let that take place as well. That's for someone. But your feelings are real. They're worth exploring. And you deserve that type of energy reciprocated back. And this is your self-love energy, exactly. This is you about you loving yourself and attracting more love towards you. And that's what you're doing. You definitely got, I keep getting called to this crush. Like, you definitely got somebody majorly crushing on you right now. Aquarius. Chaser. So, this is no longer someone thought you was going to chase them. And now your past person's getting ready to chase you down because you're done with them. And something about this crush is wanting to come towards you now. Like, they're tired of they're running from their feelings. They're ready to, to express how they feel. So, this is about no longer worrying about these past. Like, it was a missed opportunity. It's done. It's over. You've outgrown it. So, and this is also about these new love wanting to come towards you. Make sure that you don't miss an opportunity because you're, you're afraid that you're going to get hurt again. Because there's definitely someone here new that is really digging you. Tell me more. Past knows that they missed an opportunity with you. And there we got the runner. So a runner-chaser dynamic. So this is no longer doing that push and pull with the past. So this is about going after your dreams, your destiny. And this is about if anybody, even new people that try to run from you, let them go. Don't don't pull it, pull, pull it. Don't play into that push and pull with even new people. And this past is wanting your forgiveness. They're ready to come towards you. Tell me more. You're going towards your destiny. Destiny in career, destiny in finances, destiny in love. Like you're going the right way. So don't let anybody stop you. And there's that third party energy. So this past person is mad that they like they don't want to be on the outside, but it was okay when they left you on the outside. So and just make sure new energies for the ones that have more than one option interested, make sure there isn't anyone else in the background. Past is dishonest, and you know this. Like That's why you've accepted something, and you're over it. You've been practicing detachment in all areas. Anything that's been hindering your growth, that's beautiful. So you're evolving. You want that equal reciprocity, and this past person wasn't providing that. You are attracting this energy towards you now at this time. And some kind of soul contracts that you have with past connections, 
and there's some kind of new soul contract. There's like a past life person getting ready to come towards you. I feel like it's this crush energy, but you have some kind of contract. You've completed past contracts and they're done and over with. That's why you're ready to move forward with new contracts here. Beautiful. Contracts and finances and love. Aquarius. Lightning. Control your anger or you will be sorry. That's about your, your emotions that you've been keeping reserved. This is about not letting anybody anger you. Man, I used to be, I used to let people get me angry and I've been trying, I'm still learning on this myself. So it's a work in progress. So don't let this past person try to anger you. Don't let anybody try to anger you. Tell me more. We've got flag. Do not be tempted to lower your standards. And this is for anybody. Definitely the past and not lowering your standards where anybody knew as well. You deserve your counterpart. Tell me more. We've got a younger woman, dealings or relationships with a younger woman. This could be uh, signifying you. You uh, men, if we're watching, you could be going towards somebody younger. Uh, your past person could have dated somebody younger than you. So you men could have somebody younger coming towards you. Or this could be describing you. You were younger than who you dealt with. Tell me more. Or you could be younger than this crush that's crushing on you. A secret admirer. There it is again. I'm telling you, this crush is all up in your energy today. Like, this person is really digging you. Tell me more. And then we've got someone trying to work behind your back. So this is like all areas. Just pay attention to those haters. Don't let them get in the way of your destiny here. Because this past person is definitely a rat. You're highly thought of. Yeah, this crush is definitely... Like, everybody looks at you in a good lighting. That's why your ex is hating so bad. Unsex unsuccessful plans. So somebody is, they're unsuccessful. Anybody that tries to come up against you, it's going to be unsuccessful. You're too protected. Dissatisfaction with life. See, your past person is not happy with their life. That's why they're staying in a rut. And you got tired of your life. That's why you've changed things up. That's why you're being rewarded. See how that works? Tell me more. Great personal sorrow. So this past person, don't let them guilt trip you. You had to go through a lot of this personal sorrow to elevate. That was all part of your, your soul's growth and journey plan. Beware of greed. Don't let any greedy individuals come towards you. And there's something about when your money starts elevating, don't fall into that greedy energy here. We've got December energy. So that is a Capricorn, Sagittarius Capricorn energy here. So something could have happened in December. Some A new person coming towards you could have Capricorn Sagittarius, Sagittarius, Sagittarius placements heavy in their moon rising Venus north node. Or it could be their sun sign. Something important such as a job or a raise. That's that financial. That's that raise. Your careers. Like you're, you're getting in the bag. You got some more bags headed your way. Time to act. This is about taking action for yourself. Some, this is that crush energy, man. This crush is ready to take action on you. Like, they're ready to come and get you. Get back to the basics. This is about you getting back to you. Announcements. So, definitely got a crush running to announce themselves. And there's something here about just... Something about you, like... Something about finances being announced. Like, there's, like, some really good news headed your way here. Taking a vacation physically or mentally. So some of you guys are definitely wanting to travel, take vacations, or that's what you've done. So this is about taking time for yourself, like a mental break, because you've really been going hard and working on yourself. And then we've got Capricorn um, Capricorn energy. Oh, I think it's a Capricorn Pisces energy, I want to say. So, man, there's definitely someone that's like a Capricorn. Like, this could even represent like a past person here, but there's like heavy Capricorn energy here for somebody. And they've got pineapple, a reconciliation. This is this past person trying to come back. Someone is behaving stupidly. That is your past person, and they're still behaving stupidly. Don't let this person anger you. An exciting event. So there's definitely some events getting ready to, to pave the way in your life. So you've got some really excited times coming towards you. Unsuccessful outcome to a problem. The past didn't expect for you to burn that bridge. Like you are making it impossible for this person to reconnect with you. That's good. And whoever tries to come up against you... Like, they will not be successful here. I keep getting that as well. Aquarius. Aquarius. A stubborn, aggressive person. That's your past person. They, they still doing the same things. You ain't missing anything. Obstacles to overcome. So this is about you overcoming any obstacles, even new ones that come into our path. You're very strong and determined, so you can keep getting over anything that tries to challenge you. I don't think that's what these past energies realize here. 
And then we've got an owl. Good advice from a wise person. So this crush that I'm picking up, man, this crush is all up in your read today. Like this crush is getting some kind of advice about you. They're ready to come towards you. Some of you guys have a very wise friend around you. And some of you guys definitely are the wise friend. Someone is extremely stubborn and unwilling to change. That's this past person. They ain't changed at all. I know, your torch, your spiritual development, enlightenment, awareness, and understanding. The torch, your ancestors has passed the torch to you. That's beautiful. Your ancestors are very proud of you, by the way. Peace and harmony. You've been creating so much peace and harmony in your bloodline. Oh, that's a beautiful thing, man. You've got so much peace and harmony headed your way because of that, too. And then family matters. So you guys have definitely been down here breaking generational curses, like really like evolving and becoming the... like. You're changing things up in your bloodline. That's a beautiful thing. And, and creating a solid uh, structure for your family unit, for the ones who have kids, just wanting that. So your kids, like, that's why it's called curse breaking too. So we don't pass down those behaviors onto our kids, to our grandkids. So you understood the assignment. Tell me more. Plenty of material things. That's what you've got coming towards you, way. So much material things coming towards you. And there's definitely a marriage that's meant to take place, like a union, your your counterpart. And some of you guys definitely dealt with a marriage with your past. So advice from a friend. And there's definitely, this crush is definitely getting advice about you. And this crush is all up in your read. So this is about getting that helpful advice from the right friend. And I really feel like you are the advisable friend as well. New home, new attitude. This is you sweeping all negativity, creating that structured foundation. So some of you guys are wanting a new home. You could have got a new home. Creating a new home with someone new. Your career path. Beautiful. Everything is on the come up for you. Misunderstanding. Don't let the past try to come back and downplay what they did like it was a misunderstanding. No. This is about not letting anybody take you off that path. Don't back down from opposition. Show strength and fortitude. So you're just so strong. This is about not backing down from anything that tries to oppose you here. Standing up for yourself. Beautiful. Great good fortune. Man, you've got so much luck and wonderful things coming your way. Great worry over nothing. And this is not letting anything worry you and overthink things. Like this is just knowing that everything is going to play out in your life right when it's meant to. Romance is in the air. Yeah, that's his crush, man. This person is like really digging you. Successful outcome to your problem. So this is about getting the right keys to open up the right doors for you. That's that divine timing here. And we have a shark. Take care or there will be loss of material wealth. So this is about really, you know, um, nurturing your finances and not letting any any type of energies, whether it's new or this past person, don't let anybody try to bleed what you've taken away. Like, or not, let me say that right. Don't let anybody come in and try to take from you that you've worked hard for yourself. Money or property through an inheritance, winning or a windfall. That's what you've got coming towards you, man. You've got so many great blessings headed your way. So... And you got this crush, man. This crush is like everything. Like this person just views you as everything. So, all right, my beautiful Aquarius. That was your guys' message. I hope that it helped and resonated. If it did not, please check back with me on Sunday. We'll do it all over again. Appreciate you so much. Light and love to you.